Okay, so there I was rediscovering the best place to do sciences down the pub with a nice cool ale in hand when a fellow bespectacled Brit posts a video from the comfort of his very fetching dressing gown. Quad error, you bastion of amusing yet pointless celluloid minute, he seemed to say. Answer these seven questions as posited by someone you've never really heard of before for the grand amusement of all concerned. So I put gear up on ice for the time being, only to watch my beloved computer blow up shortly after receiving the Alpha Course invitation, which some would probably interpret as a sign, but I'm now back, so let's kick this pig. Are you an atheist? Well, that depends on your definition du jour. Am I someone who believes there is no god? No. Am I someone who lacks belief in a god or gods? Yes. I prefer to brand myself as a cynic because I honestly can't be bothered to entertain anything which would take up more space in my already jam-packed cerebrum that could otherwise be used for useful things, like movie trivia, tech support for friends and family, and my evil master plan for taking over the world. If I'm going to have to push some old stuff out of my brain, I want to make sure that the new stuff is actually reproducible first. <laughs> What are your views on abortion? Well, I think there's a maximum of three parties which should get involved in the decision. The female, the male in case of consensual intercourse, and an informed and objective medical practitioner with the female getting the final say. Religion, family, and anyone else who can't mind their own damn business should have the decency to pack it in and leave them to it. What are your views on the death penalty? Well, killing anybody is a major faux pas in my book, unless they can respawn for another blast of the balls with both barrels. Yes, life imprisonment is expensive, yes the jails are likely full already, but I'd rather try and free a wrongfully convicted person than try and compensate a betrayed and grieving family. <laughs> What are your views on the legality of drugs? I honestly don't care what people take, it's their business. I've conducted research on a few and seen the effects of more on others, but I feel I can safely say this, as long as you're not hurting anyone else, pump yourself full of whatever you like, but remember that some of the stuff can render you seriously foobar. <laughs> What are your views on gay rights? Well, as somebody toted by both his mother and partner as the gayest straight man I know, I think who you fancy and what you both consent to stickly insert into each other doesn't segregate you into a separate cast of humans. On a related note, it's nice to know the UK government can beat about the bush apologising for ruining a homosexual genius's life long after his death, when they could be, oh, I don't know, running the damn country. <laughs> What are your views on the economy? Oh ho, that follows on quite succinctly. Uh, I haven't a bloody clue. It's one of those questions like, how will the BNP managing to get some recognition in the European Parliament affect your daily life? I'm completely ignorant of any knock-on effects other than, in the case of the economy, Tesco, Sainsbury's and Asda having a bit of a slapping match. I can't pretend to completely understand what's going wrong, save for the unmitigated greed of society at large these days, and I have even less idea of how to fix it. As long as I can play my games, drink my beer and smooch my legs, though not necessarily in that order, I'm a happy man. And last but by no means least, if you could meet anyone in history, who would you choose? Well, I'm not a historian. Most historical data in my brain is 80s cult TV, so that pretty much rules out anyone prior, bar a few scientists, world leaders, and occasional examples of royalty. Geniuses would probably make me feel stupid, and so I'd elect to meet up with Spike Milligan so we could have a nip down the local for a few drinks and a rollicking good laugh. So who am I going to tag now? Well, this is even harder than the previous question, even though it's entirely self-imposed. I want to shout out to a handful of my subscribers, and thank all of you for your feedback and support this far.